Okay, 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 okay. Oh. I still don't feel like I know how to shoot these things. Happy one year anniversary! Brie Larson has been on YouTube for a year now, and this is exactly how most of these videos go. In our social media outlet world, it feels like we are closer to celebrities than we ever have been before. With Larson using her one year anniversary video to shut down the channel as Hollywood opens up again, her filming schedule no longer allows for it. It's worth looking back on just how she managed to cut through the toxicity to create something raw and real. The opening to Larson's anniversary video in which she dresses as she typically would at home and features her talking like a normal person is very typical of her channel. She has nothing to promote besides her hobbies and interests. Her first video starts with her sitting a little too close to the camera, hair pulled back, awkwardly hat waving, and taking two attempts to say, Hi, I'm Brie Larson, without cracking up. There is an infectious enthusiasm to everything Larson does on YouTube. And what's most impressive is how natural and unguarded she is. In one of her most recent videos, she uses the unofficial Zelda cookbook to make her own elixirs. Larson is not voicing any characters in an upcoming Zelda game or staring in any upcoming Zelda movies, nor is she being paid by Nintendo. It was the unofficial cookbook, after all. She just did it because she wanted to. In some videos, she plays Fortnite just because she likes Fortnite. She's even had fellow Marvel alum Tessa Thompson on her channel for a few games of the Battle Royale. In other, she does yoga again, just because. Brie Larson is not your average celebrity. Her crimes seem to amount to A. Playing Captain Marvel and B. Suggesting that A Wrinkle in Time, a movie about a young black girl with a black director and mostly black cast, was not made primarily for all white men. For this, she has been sentenced for life to insult hatred forever cast as the enemy of the chats. This is a young, conventionally attractive white woman who loves video games, comic books, and being a nerd. There is an alternate universe where 4chan worships her as a queen the way they do Keanu Reeves. The hatred they have for Larson is very peculiar. Name any female celebrity and the chats will likely dismiss them in misogynistic terms, but Larson gets special treatment. Her every movement is analyzed. In pre-Avengers interviews, it was clear from the way Mark Ruffalo was sat, the way Don Chittle blinked, and the way Chris Hemsworth stood, that they all hated her. Every time she brushed back her hair, every time she made or broke eye contact, every smile, every laugh, every wave, it was freezed, framed, zoomed in on, blown up, in some cases masturbated over, and definitely cataloged. It all confirmed what 4chan already knew. Everyone hated Brie Larson no more than Brie Larson herself. You can tell, see, from the way she's smiling and joking with Scarlett Johansson that everyone hates her. Her life must suck and mine is great. Every celebrity can be caught off guard with a poorly timed photograph, but few, if any, were watched in such a hawk like fashion as Brie Larson. It must have been tempting to close herself off from the world, to overthink her every subtle movement, to never relax again. Instead, she stuck her middle finger up. 
how do you fight back against an army of losers who pick every nanosecond that you ever been on camera? You go on camera more. You take control of the narrative. There is no point in freeze-framing Larson's YouTube looking for cracks in her supposed veneer. She keeps her mistakes in and she's always herself. Why bother finding an unflattering frame to humiliate her? She films her works out which aren't Hollywood aerobics or pre-chosen clips from three-second stylized victories. This is a full, genuine exercise with a red face and a scrapped backbone. You can't explode vulnerabilities in a person willing to be so openly vulnerable. I don't think all celebrities should do this, and the fact Larson is having to shoot hers down due to scheduling proves that can't anyway. Okay, here's a note, Brie is not actually shooting her channel, she's just taking a break, so to speak, because she has to work on new projects, such as uh, the, the, the Marvel, which is Captain Marvel 2, alright, so... Okay, I'm, I continue with my reading. I don't have problem with celebrities only giving us a tailored view of their lives either. Larson may have weathered it, but we have seen far too often what the luge of toxicity can do to young women in the spotlight. Free Britney is the latest reminder. It is not zero sum and Brie Larson's success at navigating the online space does not mean other women who opt to be more private have failed. It means the chats don't have to win, and it's so perfectly fitting that Brie Larson is the one to deliver that message while playing video games. Text taken from the article Brie Larson's YouTube success is vindication from the trolls. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. Please let me know what do you think in the comments. This was Joe Cool for Brie Larson Worldwide. Keep loving Brie.